everybody I'm Rachel from Rachel cooks with love in today's video I'm gonna be making some delicious cabbage with fried bacon and a bunch of other good stuff that's gonna go in it now this dish you can have by itself or you can have it as a side dish it's delicious either way and it's super easy to prepare now let's get started now I'm gonna start out with this cabbage right here I would say it's about a medium large cabbage and I'm gonna cut it up in half. See? Now, some people like the cabbage when it's finely shredded, but my Ron doesn't like that. He likes it big and chunky. So what I do is I just cut it into big pieces like this. Now, don't baby this cabbage. Just cut it up into big pieces like this, and it's all gonna be perfect. See? Now this is all I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my bowl, just like this. Now I've got my cabbage already cut up. I'm gonna set that aside. And on this plate, I've got some thick cut slices of bacon. And I've got five of them. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bacon up into pieces. Now you can cut them as big as you want. My Ron likes nice big pieces of bacon in there. He says if they're cut too small, they get lost. And he, he likes to chew on the big pieces. So I'm going to cut it up into pieces about this size. See? Seem kind of big, but when you fry them, they kind of shrivel up a little bit. So it'll be perfect. So I'm just going to cut these up. Just like this. Now we're ready to go to the stove. I'm going to be using this medium-sized Dutch oven. And I'm going to start out by frying my bacon. So I've got my heat set on medium high. And I'm going to put my bacon in. All of it. Just like that. I'm going to spread this out. And I'm going to let the bacon sizzle like that. Just for a little bit until it gets a nice golden brown. Before I flip it around. If you flip it and move it around real quick, your bacon will get stuck. But if you give it just enough time for it to sear real good at the bottom, it'll be easier for you to move around. Don't want to burn your bacon. So keep an eye on it. So my bacon is ready. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. You see all that fond at the bottom? All that brown stuff at the bottom. Oh my goodness. That is going to give this dish an added plus flavor here. Delicious. So I think I've gotten every bit of bacon in there. Now as you can see, it has rendered grease, but I'm not going to take it out. We're going to keep it. And I'm going to add my onions. I also have some green onions. We don't want to lose anything here. And I've got some carrots. And I'm going to give it a good stir. And I'm going to wait until the onions become real nice and translucent. Now my heat is not very high as you can see. It's just got a nice little sizzle. That's how we want it. So I'll just be moving it around like this until my onions are ready. Now, as you can see, my onions have gotten nice and translucent. Look at this. See? And look at the bottom. See how all the brown fond is gone? Because all this good stuff has already deglazed the bottom. See, but it just looks delicious. So now it's time for my garlic. I'm going to go ahead and put my garlic in here. And I'm only going to leave it in here one minute because you don't want to burn it. There's nothing worse than burned garlic. And it's not very high as you can see. So I'm just going to continue to move it around like this for about one minute. Now I'm going to add my cabbage. Let's 
see. Now it looks like a lot of cabbage, but it's gonna cook down. Now I'm just tossing it around like this gently because I wanna get the garlic off from the bottom. That's why I'm tossing it around gently like this. And I'll do this before I add my next ingredients. Okay, and it's good like this. Now I'm gonna add my onion powder. My garlic powder. I'm gonna put in my paprika. And I'm gonna stir it around. And I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of water, just a little bit like that. And this little bit of water will give it a little kickstart so we can get that steam going. Now I've got a little bit of salt and I add a little bit like this. I've got some lemon pepper right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add some lemon pepper. Now we like quite a bit of this, but you can add as much as you want. Now I'm going to add some pepper flakes. Now I like to put some pepper flakes in here because it gives it a really nice kick. Just like that. You can add as much as you want. Now I'm going to toss it all together. Like the lemon pepper and the pepper flakes and everything else. You see how it's looking real nice and wet? That's because the cabbage is releasing its water which is exactly what we want. I'm going to replace the lid and I'm gonna let it cook like this for 15 minutes. Now in five minutes or so, I will come back and I will give it another stir. And the reason you wanna leave your lid on it is because you want it to steam in there. And then it's gonna start getting nice and soft, just like we want it. So I'll see you in a little bit. So our cabbage and bacon dish is ready. Now, if you are wondering what happened to the bacon, I've got it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my bacon. See? And I'm gonna toss it in there. Now, the reason I like to wait till the very end to add my bacon is if you add it any sooner, your bacon will get soggy. And my Ron likes it real nice and crispy. See? So that's why I wait till the end. Now, let's look at it. Mmm, look at that. Yummy. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. This is super delicious. Now, you know, we're going to have it with baked chicken. But you can have it with any meat that you want. Or you can have it just by itself, like this. My Ron loves it like this, too. You know, the crunchiness of the bacon with the sweetness of the carrots with the pepper flakes and the cabbage and everything else makes it a true winner. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.